Hey guys, Gears from Gears Guitar Lessons here, and today we're going to be talking about octaves with two ringing strings. This is a great way to kind of spice up some chords and uh, kind of get some cool effects going on with our uh, with, with some of our chords. So first, I'm going to be talking about the the kind of idea of it, which is going to be the octaves. The hardest part about the octaves is not the octaves themselves; it's the muting to ensure that we're only getting the notes that we want. So for our uh, right now, my first finger is on an E note on the 7th fret, 5th string. My 3rd finger is also on an E note, hence the octave, on the 9th fret, 3rd string. And then I only have my 1st and 2nd strings ringing open along with those two fretted notes. So my 1st finger is actually doing all of the muting here. So the very tip of my 1st finger is kind of letting, is kind of muting that 6th string so I don't get any 6th string ringing out. And it's also, I'm kind of using just the tip of my finger right here just to ensure that, um, only I'm getting that note, and then the rest of my finger at the bottom right here is actually muting that fourth string. So one way to kind of start out by doing it is just by going to that E, making sure that you're not getting that sixth string or that fourth string, but you're getting the fifth, third, second, and first string. All right, so there it is. Now what's really neat about this is it tends to work really well in the keys where these two strings are open. For example, B, E and A tend to be my three favorites, although they aren't the only ones. So, um, and what I mean by these two strings open, where the scale includes those two strings right there. So, for example, an E chord, uh, the key of E. So we have E, you know, F sharp, G sharp, A, G sharp, F sharp, E, or E, D sharp, C sharp, B, and then you can always end on an E note right there. So that was. Talking about my first finger here, just because it might be easier to think about that way. Seventh fret, ninth fret, again keeping this octave shape there. Still my two strings ringing at the bottom. Eleventh fret, twelfth fret, eleventh, ninth, seventh, or seventh, sixth, fourth, second, and then just an E. Now a great way to kind of spice up some chords by doing this is by going from the root of a chord up to the third of a chord. So for example, an E chord. Here I am at that E. 7th fret, and I can jump up the 9th fret, and then up to the 11th fret, which is the G sharp, which is the E, or the 3rd of that chord, of our E chord. So I have 7th, 9th, 11th. So someone that you know, or you know, jamming with someone, or backing tracks on, and they're just strumming an E chord, E major chord, I can play E, jump up to that 11th fret right there and it's going to sound real neat. Same thing works over a B chord. It's going to be my 2nd fret, 4th, 6th fret. And again, where I'm ending is going to be right there on the 3rd of that B chord. So, now using some theory here, I can also kind of play an E minor chord. Jump up to an E minor chord. What's the difference between a major and a minor uh, chord is going to be the 3rd. So instead of going to a major 3rd, I can go to a minor chord. Now, uh, essentially, without having to think about all of uh, all of the uh, whether the the third is major or minor or the chord or anything, is to just go up uh, first note of our octave. Second note is going to be the in between, and then the next note of the scale that sounds good is going to be right there. So you can use horizontal scales. You can just use your ear, uh, but that's kind of a good way to think about how to work through some of that stuff. So again, just a neat little kind of trick just to kind of spice up some chords, keep those ringing strings open, those bottom two, which is creates a nice effect for all sorts of different genres of music. Uh, if you like this video, be sure to subscribe, like, and share this video. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comment section below. And also check out GarrisGuitarLessons.com for free lessons and resources.